CBS 7 News at 6 starts right now. A CBS 7 investigation into how speeding tickets for CDL drivers are handled in Loving County has uncovered even bigger problems. We were the first to report yesterday that the county judge has been writing off speeding tickets as parking violations. CBS 7's Tatum Gwen has been pouring through documents all day long. Tatum, what have you uncovered? Jay, I'm holding every single case that has been changed to a different charge in Loving County. I went through all of them case by case and I found more than just speeding tickets are being changed. There are 90 cases where charges have been changed in Loving County since 2009. Here's how it works. You get pulled over for speeding and appeal the charge in municipal court. You then go to the county court and plead guilty to a lesser charge, but pay a bigger fine and keep a clean driving record. This practice didn't sit well with those writing the tickets. It's disheartening to us, needless to say. I'm not for it. So we requested all traffic tickets that have been changed to an illegal parking ticket. What we uncovered was much more than just changed traffic citations. Like this one, an assault causes bodily injury charge was dismissed and an illegal parking of a vehicle charge took its place. And this one, a possession of marijuana charge was changed to an illegal parking ticket. But it doesn't stop there. We found other charges were also changed. Driving while intoxicated, failing to yield to an emergency vehicle, driving with an invalid license, driving with a suspended license, illegal dumping, all charges dropped and changed to something else. Doesn't seem right, does it? The state didn't think so either. The county was investigated by the State Judicial Conduct Committee for changing charges in 2009 and were advised to stop. But the county judge and the county's legal advisor decided not to. The Judicial Conduct Committee told me that I needed to talk to my county attorney and tell him that we shouldn't be doing this. So I did. I talked to him. He said, well, we probably shouldn't, but we're going to do it anyway. It didn't happen one more time or twice. It's happened 90 more times. So we called the State Judicial Conduct Committee to see what they had to say. While the county's actions did raise eyebrows, they say they would have to take a look at the case specifically before they could speak on it ethically. I also reached out to the county's legal advisor to see what he had to say about the change charges. Once I, once I mentioned I was with the media, he hung up on me. Reporting live in the studio, I'm Tatum Gwynn, CBS 7 News.